All right, so today I have a 2004 Ford Excursion with a six liter in it, and it's got a little bit of an oil leak coming from the uh, top of the engine somewhere, and the customer wants to know where it's coming from. So I'm gonna show you uh, some little tricks and a couple specialty tools here that I made uh, to diagnose the problem. So I took a, uh, basically a plumbing coupler here. It's a rubber, uh, goes from four inch down to three inch. Um, I took a three inch cap, stuck it in there, and put a nipple on it for air fitting. So, <clears throat> he's got a lot of oil. Let's see if I can get the light on here for you guys. You see all the oil down here, and it's coming from the back of the motor, on the back of this pipe as well. So there's like oil debris all over the place, and it's all wet. So, what you do is you use a little um, give it a little bit of air and pressurize the, uh, the system here and uh, it allows me to pressurize the hoses and it'll pressurize the whole boost system so I can see if there's any boost leaks as well. Um, so this is a little cool trick um, if, you, uh, if you have a boost leak and you don't know where it's coming from um, in this case um, this hose is actually on wrong and you can see on the back side see how it's creased right here well when it's creased like that it's not uh, this hose isn't on correctly and over time what it happened is it caused it to crack and uh, so the oil is basically what what's supposed to happen is oil comes out of this <clears throat> this pipe right here and it's basically your blow by and it comes up and it goes into the breather so it, it feeds through this tube then goes into the uh, turbo to, to basically burn now um, this is kind of why if you take your boost tubes off and you see a little bit of oil uh, down in the <laughs> on the inside of this tube or down on this hose here um, it's normal so don't freak out if you see a little bit of oil um, but in this case, if you don't put stuff on correctly, even though this is the factory Ford boot, um, if you don't put it on correctly and it creases like that, uh, it won't last you very long. So with the heat and um, this is meant to move. That's why they're spaced out. Um, when the engine torques, uh, the intercooler can't move, but these can. So this allows it to, to give it a little bit of breathing room to, to move. Um, so, um, but there you go. If you, uh, don't put your stuff on correctly, um, you're going to have issues with it cracking and breaking. So this guy, this customer needs a new boot here. And, um, uh, but anyways, there's a cool little tool for you guys if you want to, um, make something up to, uh, on your own. You can get all the parts at your local hardware store. Any Lowe's or Home Depot would have everything that you need there. And um, it only cost you like 20 bucks. So there you go.